Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another review on some really viral products. You guys really liked the last one, so I wanted to do another version reviewing some of the products I've been testing out. These are mostly products from the drugstore, but I do have a handful that aren't, but they're still really buzzy and popular, so I wanted to share my review on them. Starting off with the Euphoria brand. So I have the protective pregame primer, the pink setting spray, and then the green color changing blush oil. Overall, I really, really like the concept behind this Euphoria brand. It's not necessarily skincare makeup, but it's just makeup that's supposed to be a little bit better for your skin. And Fiona, the owner of Euphoria, always talks about how it's makeup that you can sleep in. I have not slept in it before, but I really do enjoy the Euphoria products. So the pregame primer leaves the skin with a soft luminous glow, but nothing over the top. And it dries down pretty nice. It's not a mattifying dried set down, but it just feels really good. Despite only having it for a short amount Amount of time I've reached for it consistently and I'm pretty much going through it because I do really like using this as a daily makeup primer I like the way makeup lays on my skin when I use this and I do think it helps increase makeup's longevity as well now the pink setting spray this is a really nice moisturizing setting spray that does help increase makeup's longevity as well the tint of the product is not going to be a noticeable amount of pink on your skin it was created with the idea of negating some of the dullness in skin so kind of giving you that fresh little slightly pink tint to the skin I do really like the plump juicy effect that it gives my skin now the color changing blush this I think is kind of a specific product in terms of who I think will like it so the blush oil itself is green and it's one of those products that reacts to the pH in your skin so the color is gonna look a little bit different on everybody because it's going to react with your own unique pH. It looks nice on the lips. It's a little bit more of a punchy, bright, kind of like bubblegum pink, but overall reserved for days when I'm wearing a lighter makeup look. It's also just kind of fun. It's like a green blush oil. It's it's cute. I've actually shown this in a haul before. It's the CoverGirl All Over Dewy Tint for eyes, lips, and cheeks. This doesn't do anything on my skin. And in order to achieve like this type of the shade on my cheek, I have to use so much of the product that it negates the point of it being like a dewy tint. And it also has this very apparent flecky shimmer to it. Like it's not a soft luminous pearl. Although there's not a lot, they're very apparent on my skin. There's like these little tiny bits and bobs of glitter throughout the formula that almost look bizarre on the cheeks. It's just not an all over luminous glow. So the next is the Ulta Weightless Water Stain. This I have mentioned before on TikTok, but also on my YouTube channel. I do think that this is the closest Benetint dupe that I have found. If you're into that cheek stain look and you like the look of Benetint, this is totally for you. I feel like this is viral for good reason because it is a really good dupe. Kind of gives you that just like little bit bit of punchy cheek while still being a really nice tint on the cheeks. 60s on the glow blushes, these little deodorant stick blushes which you can swipe directly onto the cheeks or you can pick them up on a brush which is my preferred method of application but these are pretty. They're a really nice dewy cream blush. I have the coral shade in Juicy. I like these. I think this shade specifically is really great for summer. It was a nice look. I like this. I think that this is a good product. Flower Beauty's Priming Whip. This is the Celestial Supernova. Um, I'm sure you You've seen all the videos where people just like squeeze it right to the face and then there's like this ping pong sized ping pong ball sized blob of foam aside from it being a whipped primer I actually did really like this for a time because I do like the luminous glow it gives the skin and I liked the way my makeup laid on top of it but as far as the foaming aspect of it I feel like that's kind of gimmicky and I just don't see myself repurchasing this although the luminous strobe on it is really nice it just wasn't something that like I found myself using because of the fact that it's whipped I feel like it was just kind of chaotic and sometimes it was like hard to control how much foam was coming out my cap would often be filled with foam. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't understand the point in it being a whipped foam, I guess. Sun Kissed Trio. This is by Aliou. I do like this little kind of accordion mechanism that the product itself has. I like this, but for whatever reason, I don't find myself really being a person drawn to this type of product. Essentially, it's created so that you can throw it in your makeup bag. It's easier to travel with this, that, and the other. I was keeping it in my tote as like a touch up throughout the day, but not necessarily reaching for it to create my look so the product is good but in terms of wanting to use 
use it and being wowed by it it's not a bad product it's just like i would rather use singular products through my collection that i already have and then found the purpose of this product being something that was easy to throw into a purse and use for touch-ups throughout the day so in that sense i do like it okay next up we have the revolution irl filter foundation revolution as a whole is definitely a brand that catches my attention i feel like i'm pretty consistently impressed with the products that i try from the brand the irl foundation is definitely more of a soft satin matte finish on my skin now the formula does tend to get a little bit more dewy the longer you wear it so when your skin's natural oils start peeking out from the foundation and it kind of has some time to set down it doesn't tend to stay that matte on my skin past an hour so you can easily switch that up by just putting a dewy setting spray on top or using like a dewy primer overall i really like this i think it has a nice soft blurring effect on the skin the elf no budge cream shadows i have two shades here i have golden days which is this peachy one and brown one is the shade plateau i wanted so badly to like the tangerine one because i love orange eyeshadows but this formula is just extremely difficult to work with specifically the orange one it goes on my eyes patchy and the product sets down rather quickly so it's almost like when i'm applying it certain areas are setting down quicker than others so i wasn't able to get like a universal opaque wash of color on the lids i was trying to use it kind of like a mac paint pot or just any type of cream shadow unfortunately with golden days the formula just didn't work for me i used it as a base for my tangerine eye look today and it worked out pretty well but i really did purchase this with the intention of wearing it solely as a really fun punchy tangerine on the eyes now the other one though plateau it's like the formula is completely different on this one it's slick it's creamy it slides over my eyes really beautifully i can wear it opaque or i can sheer it out for just a little bit of kind of like a tint or like a smoky look on my eye it works really well as an eyeshadow base and it also works really well as an eyeliner as well so this one has a much more emollient creamy formula and i find that this one doesn't set down where i feel like i'm racing against the clock to blend it out drugstore lip oils i feel like i need to do an entire video dedicated to lip oils so we have the milani fruit fetish and then the la girl lip oil this one is in sheer watermelon and the milani one is in cherry lime i also have the mango one as well now the thing i like about the milani one is this one tends to ring more true to the clarins lip oils the dior lip oils because it has significantly more of a punchy tint to it and it feels like a gloss and also nourishing like a lip oil but like it's not overly oily to where it drips down your lips whereas when you see the la girl one swatched it just has faintest touch of pink to it i feel like you can just barely see it so that's honestly what it looks like i just think the punch factor isn't really there with this lip oil specifically and i feel like you could just get away with wearing a clear gloss at that point because the punchiness of it being a lip oil isn't really there whereas with the milani one you do kind of get that soft candy tint to the lips and it's glossy and sheer and it doesn't drip down your face i had seen multiple videos saying that these were dupes the la girl ones were dupes for the ones from dior i don't find that to be true I still like the Dior ones better. Whereas with the Milani ones, I can see how this would be considered more similar to the Dior and the Clarins ones. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. So on one end, you have your cream contour. And then on the other side, you have your cream highlights. I have the shade Medium. And I feel like for my skin tone personally, the contour shade performed more like a bronzer for my skin but i wouldn't necessarily consider this to be like my contour shade of choice i would still apply it much like a bronzer and then with the luminous cream highlight i really liked that i think it has a really pretty soft appearance on the skin it blends out really nice um despite these being creams they're not sticky and i really like how the luminous side has a nice consistent pearl there's no um you know apparent flex or chunky bits of glitter throughout the luminous side so i did really like that i like the ease of a product like this and honestly when i'm thinking about it this is really kind of the same idea as something like this but i couldn't tell you why i would reach for this more than this because they're very similar in tones and in formula as well i just find that this seems a little bit more practical in terms of makeup application on day to day all right so those are all of the viral makeup products i wanted to review for you today if there are any other makeup products that you are seeing 
seeing all over TikTok or YouTube that you really want me to review, please leave them in the comments down below so I can check them out and review them for you in a future video. And if you didn't see my other one, I'll have that linked in the description box down below because I have a whole separate video reviewing some more of the more viral buzzy products on TikTok and YouTube right now. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye everyone.